Welcome guys, we are doing a long-term review on my Iwasaki Gen 2 Bowtech bow. It's been about a year since I um, bought this bow back in February of last year and I have shot it on multiple hunts now. I have taken it out on total archery challenge trips and I have put this thing through the ringer. So I'm gonna give you the positives and what I feel are the negatives. The number one thing that I love is that it has the flip disc for comfort versus performance mode. So when I bought this bow, I dropped my draw weight down to 33 pounds. And with that, it just took a lot for me to build back up. And when I did that, I got to a point where I had maxed out my limbs, but I wanted more speed out of the bow. And so all we did is we took it into the shop, we flipped it from comfort to performance, and I got another 10 feet per second out of the bow. So amazing feature for those of you who are trying to really progress with your bow without having to go out and purchase another one. Your limbs are interchangeable. So I started with 40 pound limbs. Like I said, when I max those out, we're getting ready to purchase 50 pound limbs. So spend a few hundred bucks, you don't have to buy a whole nother bow. The other really good features about this is the, that only Bowtech has is the deadlock cam system. So you can take it in, whether you do it yourself, you can, or you can take it into your local shop and you can tune your bow right there without using a bow press and all of that fancy stuff. So amazing technology. The one thing that I will say that's awesome about that is that that's technology that sometimes or back in the day you never found on women's bows. You kind of basically got an entry level bow because we hadn't figured out how, how to make the bow fit for a female while giving it all that technology. This bow is basically the same thing as any other flagship men's bow for Bowtech, only it's made compact for petite women like me, or if you're just petite in general. Um, it gives you all the technology without losing anything. All right, the last feature that I would say is a pro to this bow is not something you see on the website. It's not the specs listed on there. It's the durability of a bow. So I have had this for a year. I've never had to change my strings. I've never had to take the bow in for any sort of minor or major repairs. And let me say I've put it through the ringer between multiple total archery challenges, uh, spot and stock hunts, regular hunts, cold, hot, desert, sand, wind, snow, any of it, all of it, it's gone through. I've dropped it out of the trunk of my car. I've not put it in a hard case. I've left it in a soft case sometimes. I'm not the best with the bow and it has sustained all of it and never had to be fixed. So you could take a close up look. You'll see the amount of dirt and grime that's built up in this thing. And yes, I will tell you, clean your bows. But sometimes when you don't get it all, it has not affected this bow or its shot or its accuracy whatsoever. I have one small negative to this bow and that is the sound. So I don't think it's probably the quietest bow out there on the market. I've taken it in to make sure that there's nothing off or tweaked or loose and there is not. It's just a little loud. You'll hear a kind of twing at the end of every shot. And that's really it. Other than that, I would say that outweighs all of the positives about this female Bowtech Iwasaki Gen 2. So if you like the bow, if you have more questions about it, feel free, shoot a comment down below, like, subscribe, shoot us a DM on Instagram, Bow Disciples, and we'll message you back. Do you enjoy shooting bow and arrows? I do enjoy shooting bow and arrows. Yes, I do. That's very nice. I don't. No? No. I slapped arrows. I slapped arrows. Let's hope I didn't rip a fletch. Wow, deputy, deputy.